If you've ever played Ark Survival Evolved, and if you're watching this, then I'm guessing that you probably have at least a little bit, then you'd be familiar with the fact that finding a good starting area on any map is going to be trivial to setting yourself up for long-term success. And the Ark Olympus map is no different than any other map. Hey you fellow survivors, Explorer Eager here, and today I'm showing you the northwestern shores as a guide video to hopefully set you up with this beautiful starting area to give you some long-term success on the Arc Olympus map. So first off for this northwestern shores guide, uh, we'll cover off a few of the basics. So one of which is that you can actually see how much of the land here, a good portion out of is fairly flat. So very nice to be able to build, get yourself a starter base, expand it out. And really, if you wanted to, you could make this a pretty good area to be your main base uh, going through the entire game. Uh, keep it in mind that there is a few basic level threats here. Uh, when you start off, you're going to run into things like the little icky birds that steal your stuff and the dilos and compies and stuff like that. But most of them shouldn't give you too much of an issue. Uh, beyond that, uh, you will probably want to build a bit of a wall as up above the cliff edges here, uh, you could find that some things like uh, Alpha Raptors, Alpha Rexes, and other dangerous creatures sometimes will fall off of these cliffs, hit the beach, and can come and mess up your day pretty quickly. So you might want to have some good dinos to protect you, uh, perhaps some defenses, but definitely a good wall is recommended. So uh, Also down in here, another great thing about starting in this area is that you've got creatures like pteranodons to be able to tame so you can get yourself a starter flyer uh, there's also triceratopses and parasaurs for being able to run around and gather yourself berries there is access to lots of trees lots of stone uh, and lots of bushes to be able to get yourself the fiber and berries and seeds that you require for the game so next we'll talk about resources and one of the nice things about starting here in the north western shores is that you're fairly close you're never too too far away from uh, a bunch of wonderful resources so i've got my map out here if you look right here in this pool in front of us uh, you can see a shark swimming around in there there is access to diving down and getting yourself a bunch of handfuls of silica pearls so that's a great way to be able to come in and farm and start off by grabbing those uh, you are also just not very far away from the desert there uh, just a straight line if you head on up that slight slope in front of us and to the left is a a uh, bit of a pathway that leads right into the heart of the desert and along that pathway there is a ton of metal a ton of obsidian uh, and there's a couple places where you can find a bit of crystal as well now if we look over here right across from us i believe that ledge is called uh, it's like zeus's mountain or something like that or, um, but up there is another great spot for being able to grab a bunch of metal uh, you will want to go up there with a decent land mount though uh, maybe a bit of a decent armor uh, but along behind that you can see mount olympus uh, I'm, not only is it great for the view but you also have access to a ton of metal along the base of that mountain just a little portion ways up there's a bunch of metal in there uh, base to mid-level uh, as well as these islands over here I'll take you guys on a quick little tour over here these islands also are great too uh, they have the ability to have some pretty cool creatures uh, you can get you do have to be careful at the same time though there is uh, aloes there's rexes uh, there's also a Denonicus in here and you can get yourself if you see right down below here there is actually a Denonicus nest where you could come and pick some of the eggs to hatch up and get one of your very own Denonicus you can see them running around down there some cool Easter colored ones still uh, but with that there's also some good resources like metal up here in these islands as well too this one here you're gonna want to make sure that you come with some decent weapons and armor and uh, probably some bolas and maybe a mount uh, but further beyond this if you came over to this island here 
and scaled this cliff and came on up there or come on up sorry there is uh some more metal as you can see a couple of nodes there there's another metal node up here i think there's a couple on the back side um, as well as a really nice pool down in here if you come through this little ravine here and head on to the left right down in here is a really nice patch of crystal it's very easy to get to um, you can canoe over to this island and wonderful for getting yourself a bunch of crystal to start uh, and then beyond that if you were to canoe on over to this island over here this island on the back side also has a ton of metal so another great place to be able to come uh come get yourself a bunch of metal uh and if you wanted to well i mean there's nothing stopping you from building an island base on one of these two as well if you didn't want to be on the mainland these are a couple of great islands to be able to plop down a base and and call home further to our resources we've got two more areas right here that are very easily accessible uh, again you can canoe over to here this one here is a little separate island on its own it does have a few dangerous creatures you can see some rgs flying around uh there's going to be some kitty cat saber tooth there but if you do make it over here there is a ton of salt so a very good place to come and get yourself a bunch of salt starting off over here is uh, a secondary swamp and this one's pretty cool too. It definitely has some dangerous creatures, so you gotta mind your mind your footing in here. There's capras, there's uh, sarcos and stuff like that. But uh, you could come over here if you're into I don't know, taming up the bezel frogs. You could get yourself one of those. But in here, it has access to these mushrooms, which will get you fungal wood. So you can come in here and get a bunch of that, as well as a bunch of uh, if you look right here, these little gas nodes, and we have our gas collector going. So to be able to get yourself uh, congealed gas balls, you can come over here and slap one down fairly easily without having to go into the caves to go get it. So another great feature for some more resources around here. And lastly, we're just going to touch on um, basically another great thing about this area is that there's lots to be able to see and areas that you could potentially branch out from and build uh, you know, a more permanent or, or main base. Uh, lots of great cliff edges along here, uh, along this spot here, uh, going anywhere around here, over to this side along the desert. There's some really nice spots here. There's also this massive last, or land mass right here, uh, which is fairly easy to get to. And not too difficult to defend if you wanted to wall off a good section, build yourself a nice big gate, uh, and still have yourself a great view of this whole entire kind of peninsula in here. Uh, I mean, there's, there's tons of options. So, uh, as well as over on this side, so you've got the Redwoods Island over there, uh, some great spots in there to be able to build, as well as get uh, tree sap and put in even a, a tree platform that you could build on if you are into building into the redwoods there's a couple beautiful spots there or there's this spot over here which is really nice too uh if you're into building along one of these uh types of beach areas here this is a great pool you can also wall it off and basically turn it into a pen you can see some of the water creatures that are uh, hanging out in there right now uh, pretty easy to wall it off and defend it and give yourself some water creatures and make a nice base in there so um, with that guys that's going to do it for this quick kind of video for today for starting off in the northwestern shores of this map uh, it has been a wonderful place for us to start on this map it's given us a great uh, a great go at the game uh, there are a few other areas out there as well that you could start at uh, I won't claim this is going to be the best area that's up to you to decide it has been a wonderful area for us uh, and we just wanted to show off a few reasons why it, it, it definitely has a good touch to it that you should be able to uh, play and uh, set yourself up for the long game in this area here so uh hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please drop a like down below uh be sure to catch some of our other videos that we've got going on uh some of the guides for this uh map this wonderful olympus map and let us know what you think have you played olympus before um are you interested in trying out this map and drop a comment down below so with that guys hope you all have an awesome day and hope to see you on the arc